Is this working? It is working. My goodness. I don't want a pickle. I just want to ride on my motorcycle. And I don't want a tickle. I'd rather ride on my motorcycle And I don't want to die I just want to ride on my motorcycle You know, I've been singing this song for about ten years I can't understand it I told everything about it I could. I, you know, I told the stories about how I wrote it. I told all about it. But the one thing I've neglected to explain all this time was the significance of the pickle. It was about the time I was riding my motorcycle down a mountain road. I was doing 150 miles an hour. I was playing my guitar. John was in the sidecar playing his guitar. In other words, we was both going down a mountain road at 150 miles an hour playing our guitars. And that's dangerous. All of a sudden, a string broke off John's guitar, snapped right off the neck and flew right across the road and wrapped itself around a yield sign. The sign didn't come out the ground, the string didn't break. Stuck in one end of John's guitar, he held on with all his might, not realizing he was seat belted in a sidecar. The guitar stuck to John, the sidecar stuck to the bike. I hung on to the bike and my guitar. The result of the string wrapping around a yield sign was that we made a sharp turn off the road. I was doing 150 miles an hour sideways and 500 feet down a mountain cliff. Well, I, I knew that that was it. I knew that that was the end. And in my last remaining seconds in the world, I decided to write one last farewell song to the world. Took out a piece of paper, took out a pen, I sat back and thought a while, and I started writing. I don't want a pickle, just want to ride my motorcycle. And I don't want a tickle, I'd rather ride my motorcycle. And I don't want to die, I just want to ride my motorcycle. Well, I, I knew it wasn't the best song I ever wrote. But I didn't have time to change it. But as fate would have it, we didn't die at all. We landed on the top of a police car, and it died. We came into town at a screaming 175 miles an hour, singing the motorcycle song. We come into town, to... jumped off the bike. And out in front of the general store where we was, was a man eating the most tremendous pickle. Talking about a pickle, well, pickle the size of three pregnant watermelons, just a huge monster, monster pickle. Pushed a pickle in my face and started asking some questions. And it was at the same time I noticed a pickle in my face, I noticed a cord hanging from the long end of the pickle, going up his sleeve, down his shirt, into his pants, into his shoes, out his shoes, and into a little briefcase he had near his feet. I knew it wasn't an ordinary pickle. It was about the same time I noticed the cord going out from the pickle when a four-foot cop arrived with a five-foot gun that at one time been around six foot seven was met at the bottom of a mountain by two flying weirdos. He walked over and with one tremendous hand grabbed a pickle from the other guy and threw it a hundred foot straight up in the air. We watched it go up. Halfway between going up and coming down, he took out his five foot gun and put a three inch bullet hole right through the long end of the pickle. The pickle started coming down. down so fast we could hardly see it, but all of a sudden he stuck out his foot and caught the pickle on his big toe. Balancing the pickle on his big toe, 
He took out a 10-foot ticket. He wrote it up. He rolled it up. Took the ticket and shoved it in the bullet hole in the middle of the pickle. Took the pickle with the ticket and shoved it down my throat. It was at that very moment that the tremendous pickle with the ticket inside was going down my throat that I knew for sure that I didn't want a pickle. I don't want a pickle. I just want to ride on my motorcycle. And I, I don't want a tickle. I'd rather ride on my motorcycle. And I don't want to die. Just want to my motorcycle.